Hello and welcome to Let Them Talk. My name is Gideon. So today we're going to look at the difference between suggest and propose. Have a look at these three statements. Which is correct? A. Julie suggests to go to the museum. B. Julie suggests we go to the museum. C. Julie proposes us to go to the museum. Did you get the correct answer? The correct answer is B. Okay. The word suggest means to offer something for consideration. Suggest cannot be followed by object and infinitive. That's why A is incorrect. However, suggest can be used with several structures. Let's have a look. You can use suggest with ing. For example, my friend suggested seeing a movie or he suggested changing the name of his business. You can suggest something. For example, he suggested a good way to improve his English or she suggested a weekend in Brighton. If we want to say who we are suggesting something to, then we can use the structure suggest plus that plus subject plus subjunctive. Suggest is one of the verbs which can be used with the subjunctive, but don't let that scare you. It just means that the second part of the phrase will be in the form infinitive without to. Here are some examples. His friend suggested that he buy a new sofa. I suggest that you be here before nightfall. And that's why in our earlier question, B is correct. Julia suggests that we go to the museum. The negative can be used by placing not before the verb. She suggested that we not leave before Friday. Propose is a more formal word than suggest and is used less often. However, sometimes we can use propose and not suggest when we put forward a plan or say what we intend to do. It can be used with a noun. For example, the president has proposed a new tax on sugar or with a verb with ing. The mayor proposed banning cars from the city centre. When you propose to somebody, it means asking somebody to marry. For example, he proposed to her in the garden. You can also propose a toast. That's it. Thank you for watching. More English language videos coming soon.